Hey online teachers, welcome back to my channel. In this video, I have a really cool site um, to share with you. So there's been a lot of talk about Google Jamboard going away. Um, and now there are, you know, other digital whiteboards, interactive whiteboard sites that are stepping forward with amazing sites and products for you to use to save time in the classroom, make your classroom engaging, interactive. Um, so we're going to dump into that tool today. And welcome back to my channel. I'm Natalie and I help online teachers sell out their classes by creating engaging lessons and gamifying their lessons with technology, those digital games. Um, so we're diving into today in this video, a site called Lucid Chart. Now it's really, really cool. So I'm going to show you around inside and how you can use this to create those interactive and engaging lessons. So inside here we have, um, what's really cool first off is you can start from a blank template, absolutely create something yourself, or there are templates already created for you, um, that you can start with. So this is a really good, really cool tool for these visual, um, interactive activities that will can get students working on the same same whiteboard so they can see you know what each other they're working on and just kind of lay lay it all out so I want to show you this really cool template and I'm gonna go to new um, and I'm gonna go to create from template there are categories here we can choose from or we can search templates uh, I'm just gonna type in reading see what pops up. Oops, if I spell it right. And there are so many um, maps, graphic organizers that pop up for to organize, you know, thoughts. You can work on things together. Uh, there's a book report template already so students can use that. Um, but I just want to show you one I feel like is used a lot and that is um, organizing, you know, before reading, during reading, after reading, or we've seen this like KWL charts. So I'm going to click use template and this template is ready to edit. I can edit the text. Um, so there we go. I'm going to write what you know. What did you learn? What do you want to know? Or any questions you have, um, I can put in, in this chart. And I can, when teaching online, I can uh, add these myself for the students and what they say, or I can share this link with them and that way they're all on the same whiteboard and then they can add their own, their own um, sticky notes or drawing on it. So it really brings in that collaborative um, opportunity. So let's add in a sticky note. So we read, oh, I love these colors. Um, what do I know already? And I just double click and um, I can type right here. I don't have a book right off the top of my head, so um, we'll just do that. And then there are options here where you click that arrow and then you can, you know, connect your thoughts together. Or if you don't want it, just delete it. It can simply just be sticky notes. All those students, all of your students are putting their sticky notes on here. What do they already know about this subject you're going to teach? Um, and then what do they learn? And then I can add another sticky note. And just type in what they learn. So, so cool. But, there we go. Okay. And then I can just drag these around so they're in this column. 
and the collaboration part is really cool. So just share this link with, um, with your students and they'll all be able to do this together. Okay. And then, oh, there's so many, so we can add shapes. We can just add a text box right into here. That's where they got that checks text box. We can add shapes, lines, um, images. You can search all of these image types, or you can upload your own image from your computer and we can draw as well. So if you're, you know, in a pinch, you want to write a math problem for your students to solve and then they can, you know, write the answer, put the answer on a sticky note. Um, so many ways we can use that, but I just wanted to briefly introduce this cool tool to you um, and hopefully you can get some really good ideas to use it more coming soon um, about this about lucid spark um, stay tuned so for the next week's video I'll show you how to um, or how I use this in my classroom I absolutely love games so how can I use a game with Lucid Spark with all of my students on it? I'm going to show you that next week. And be sure to subscribe, hit that notification bell so you can get all future tips and tricks about technology, gamifying your classroom your way. And I'll see you next week.